Have you heard of a story of progressive evolution? It all started in the year 2000 with merely three employees housed in one warehouse in the Blue Shed area of the Jebel Ali Free Zone. Barely five years after, the company grew to 70 employees, which necessitated the addition of a second warehouse. In 2008, the employees multiplied 30-fold from its humble beginnings of three to as many as 94 employees working in three warehouses. As the company's operations were expanding, the need for branch offices in our thriving areas of business became imperative. Hence, in 2010, we opened our Abu Dhabi office and, the year thereafter, our Doha office. Both offices are fully operational and self-sustaining. Despite the economic downturn during that time, the company grew steadily in terms of manpower and lines of business. We set out to be an automation systems solutions provider 14 years ago and we have proven our proficiency in various systems in this regard from PLC, DCS, ESD to SCADA and many more. In 2008, we have expanded our services to cover full engineering, procurement and construction and the first project of this magnitude for offshore was the DCS, ESD, F&G and SCADA replacement for the Umm al Dark facilities of ZADCO for offshore. Onshore, one of our first and biggest EPC projects was the replacement of F&G detection system at RDS 1, 2 and 3 and H2S sirens at accommodation and office buildings for ADCO. Eventually, by 2010, we also ventured into utilities with the automatic remote control and supervision and interconnection through fiber optic network for the Abu Dhabi municipality. With the surge of different types of projects and consequently the need for more manpower, we moved to our standalone office building, customized to our needs, still in the Jebel Ali Free Zone. 2,860 square meters. Two floors. Six meeting rooms. Two training halls. A fleet of vehicles. Two hundred employees, over two hundred projects successfully executed, over twenty projects still in progress. This is what Silver Tech is now, and still growing. Obviously, the continuous inflow of opportunities is due to our proven track record in cost-efficient engineering design and execution. The competition is increasing. Technology is rapidly changing. The market may have sporadic lows but SilverTech remains to be constant in pushing its frontiers. Uh, the company started in 1990, providing both fire and gas, ESD and safety control systems. It has grown rapidly since then and moved to Jebali in 2000, where it's now become an EPC contractor, funding a wide range of control and safety solutions to the end user with a high degree of flexibility in the products it submits, supplies, and a very high quality of engineering. Hi, my name is Sabu. Currently, I am workshop manager in Silvertech. Uh, I started as a panel electrician in 2001. Now I am managing the workshop of the company. It gives me a great uh, sense of pride that from a humble electrician, I am now one of the leaders of the production team. I am able to give the same opportunity to my staff. Silvertech is successful because it takes our employees' contribution as significant. Everyone from managers to even technicians. This 2014, we are going full swing with our new business focus, systems engineering training. 
It is also this year that we will open our office in Saudi Arabia and in the very near future, Iraq. With a persistent mindset, the possibilities for growth are limitless. My name is Arwa Shawad. I was hired by Silvertech in the year 2006. I was exposed to different knowledge areas including office and site work. I made efforts and I was rewarded accordingly. Now, after seven years, there are four projects being executed under my management and leadership. In no other company, I think, would I have been given this opportunity for rapid career growth and massive learning. In Silver Tech, you grow as the company grows. Out of adverse complexities, we make sense. Where things are good, we make things better. Silvertech Middle East, 14 years and going strong.